Hello everybody, welcome back. And in last week's video, we saw the privileges of the church class. And the week before that, we looked about the 1000 years of God's kingdom and that we have to wait for the church class to be finished and then only the process will be taking place. So today we're going to see the church class or the body of church, what it is. So what we start from where Jesus Christ is giving the invitation to the people about to join or come to the church class or to become like when I tried to say. So and he has clearly explained this though in John 14, 6 chapter, 6, John 14, chapter 6 verse. So we can read it and he says, Jesus said to him, I am the way the truth and the life. And no one comes to God, to the Father well, except through me. So this verse is very authentic and straightforward, explaining the only way to go to God. But here there is another verse where he talks about the people who follow him. And these are about the disciples. So we're going to read the verse, Mark 1st chapter 17th verse. Okay. We're going to read the verse now. So let's read Mark 1st chapter, 17th verse. Okay, so we have the verse. It says, And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. So they will be fishers of fish. They'll be fishers of men, finding the people who can become the church class. And the main rule we need to understand here, we have to take up our cross and deny ourselves and abide in me. In the sense, we have to obey the word of God, of God and the promise. Then only if we get you, if you do this, you will get the rest. It means peace. Since if you do this, you will, it will give you rest. And this means peace peace yeah that's a better way to put it okay so first initially we can see um he's talking to the disciples especially here with the apostle peter in this situation as well and this is in matthew 16th chapter 13th verse which we can read to 19th verse so we'll read that now matthew 13 16th chapter sorry uh 13 to 19th verse Okay, here it is. It says, Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? So he's asking, Who am I? Who do, how do the people think of who I am? So some people say that you are some, say you're John the Baptist. Others say you're Elijah. Others say you're Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? So he's asking them now who I am. And then Simon Peter replied, You are Christ, the son of the living God. God, sorry. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven has revealed this to you about who I am. And I tell you, Peter, you are... And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will, I will give you the keys of kingdom, give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Sorry, and whatever you bind on the earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose on heaven. Okay. So now we can understand that when we see this verse, he's mentioning about, about the original church, start of the church class here. But he's also mentioning Peter as a rock. But this does not mean that this for the church base, that he is the rock. Like he's not the big person, like, like belonged to that place. And he is the person, or it's not a hierarchy rather. The truth that he revealed about the Messiah will be there. So yes, some people understand this truth differently. So they, they like, let's say the people who follow the truth and go through the answer, they will be on the church. And this is not just for their namesakes, because some Christians who still follow this actual formula today and the interpretations of continuing this title till today, they still have these titles today saying this person will come after in hierarchy. But it's not like that. It's, it's the truth what Peter said that he's going to build on. 
like we can clearly read in the verse. And so, like we just said, Jesus Christ will build in this all the truth and the fundamental truth. So now we will read another verse to clearly prove this, which is 1 Corinthians 3rd chapter, 11th verse. Let's read it. So are we going to read it? Okay, so for no one can lay foundation other than it that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So what it's trying to say is, so we can see that um, there's already a layer made and we have to build on top of that and no other human being is capable of being that basic basic stone than our redeemer and our that redeemer is jesus christ so no one else or human is capable of being the basic stone on the bottom but we have to be in christ and follow the truth in action to build on top of him to the make the church so that's all for today's topic and we'll see you next week bye